Okay, so you've got a trackpad and for some reason you can no longer click on the trackpad when you press the button, just nothing works. Today we're going to try and fix that. Okay, so what are we going to need to fix that? We're going to need some tools. Firstly, a Y1 tri-wing screwdriver. Secondly, a Phillips PH00 screwdriver. And finally, a T6 Torx socket. Okay, so let's get started. Firstly, uh, I've already removed all of the, the screws from this case here, so we can now take the lid off. And we look inside and we need to now remove the Y1 screws. Be careful with this and do buy the screwdriver. If you strip them, it's going to be a nightmare to, to try and fix them. So you can see I'm just, just unscrewing these and popping them out of the battery. It's going to allow us to remove the battery. I've already detached the connector from the battery, so this is just going to lift straight out. Okay, underneath the trackpad you'll see there is a small Torx screw socket. Now you can adjust this in or out that's to the point that it will allow the mouse to start clicking again. So don't worry about unscrewing it too much or screwing it in too much, it won't damage anything. So you just need to screw it back in again until the mouse again clicks. Okay, once you've done that, just slot the battery back in and get your Y screws, uh, your Y1 screws ready. Adjust the connector, just push that back in again, should fit snugly, and grab your screws and your Y1 tri-wing screwdriver, slot them back into the battery, screw them in again, okay, and same on the other one. And once we've done this, we're ready to grab the, the bottom of the case again. Pop that back on and the job is done. So quite quite a straightforward fix, an easy thing to fix and certainly not worth throwing the MacBook away as a result. Okay, just slot that back in and then screw in your Phillips screws again and, and you're away. Okay, so just to summarize what we did, we first of all took the, the case off, we removed the battery with the Y1 screws, we adjusted the mouse click screw and once we've done that we could we could again click the mouse and we put the battery back in, put the screws back in, put the case back on and we now can click away. The MacBook Pro is once again working, the mouse is working normally again.